What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 15,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But as you guys can tell, me and my dad are officially out here on the ice and we are super pumped to be out here. It's the first time of 2022 that we are out here ice fishing. So we've been waiting a couple weeks for the ice to freeze over and to get safe. I think we just checked it and it was around anywhere from four to six inches so that is pretty safe we actually seen some guy riding around on his four-wheeler in this little bay right here so it's pretty safe if you guys see some four-wheelers out here but we are actually going to go out on the main lake but it doesn't look safe out there yet so we're sticking in these little bays little canals and hopefully we can get on a big northern pike today a lot of those pike come in these little canals or bays looking for bait fish so don't be scared to fish all these little canals because those pike are hungry they're searching for bait fish and we are going to be setting up six tip-ups today that is the legal limit you can have three a piece here in michigan so we're going to be setting up a bunch of tip-ups hopefully get on a couple fish today and we're using suckers today um, we just picked them up right in lake orion at some local gas station so if you guys need minnows go up there and they got minnows right there in lake orion but it is cold out here today guys i think it's like one degrees <laughs> so my mustache is already freezing over a little bit it's pretty cold but we're all bundled up, ready for action. My dad's setting up that one right now, so we're gonna get back there and show you guys how to rig up a tip up. Quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys how to set up this tip up for northern pike fishing. Um, we have our sonar right here, our fish finder, it's called a markram. And this system allows you to see the bottom. So this is super useful or super handy when you're ice fishing. You just set that in there and you turn it on. And you can see right now it is around like five to six foot of water. So you're gonna wanna set your sucker minnow probably anywhere from two to four foot off the weeds just because those pike are always looking up when they're swimming so you just set this up right now and you grab your hook right here and these weights right here on this tip up it is holding your minnow or your sucker down so it doesn't swim all over the place but we're gonna grab a sucker real quick I'll grab one of the big ones because this tip up has a lot of weights on it. So we got our sucker right there. Pretty big one too. And you want to hook them behind the dorsal fin right there with your hook. That is just going to allow the hook to be able to hold that minnow or that sucker really good. Just like that. If you guys can see that right there. but. Then you're going to set your minnow down and with your fish finder right here you can see your sucker going down and you can get it anywhere from two to four foot off the weeds i think um this one we're gonna have it at like three and a half maybe two and a half feet but That is pretty much how you set up a tip up. So hopefully me and my dad can get on a couple fish today. But, oh yeah, I guess I'll show you how to set it up. But there's a little notch right here in the top of the tip up. You just bend the flag down and you're ready for a Mondo Pike. <laughs> hopefully we can get on a couple today, guys. So guys, we got all our tip-ups set up, but I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about these new beanies that I have on Tagora. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about them, and 
I've probably got like five or six people to buy them so far this year. So if you guys want an extreme outdoorsman beanie, I'm going to leave a link below in the description. You guys can click that and order a beanie and support me. I'd really appreciate it. But I just ran up, got some lunch. You can never go wrong with pizza on the ice. <laughs> We're chowing down. We just ran up and got Jets pizza. One of our favorite places here in Michigan to get pizza, either that or Hungry Howie's. What do you guys think? Drop a comment below. But hopefully we can catch a couple today, guys. It's a beautiful day out here on the ice. We're the only people out here. And it is January 11th today, so hopefully we can get on a couple. It's going to be fun. Um, first day out here on the ice, 2022. Let's catch a couple. Well guys, me and my dad are officially out here ice fishing. We just got on our first flag of the day. We just finished setting up all our tip ups. We were on that last one over there and we looked over and there's a flag. So do you want to pull it up, dad? Yeah, I guess so. Might as well. Dad helped me set them all up and everything. So he is gonna pull the first flag and it was just spinning like crazy. He's on there. Fish? Yeah. It was on there. Feels like it's still on there. Fish! <laughs> oh, we been on here. Shoot, we're 10 minutes. Not bad. Looks like a keeper almost. That was the biggest metal too. It was like a six inch metal. And Dylan thought it was too big. That's we're going after Mondo's. <laughs> Not bad. Only been out here a few minutes. Yeah, pretty nice one, Dad. That's sweet. First yeah. fish of the year on the ice. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, that didn't take long. Yeah. It's only five foot of water too. We had it down about three foot. So don't be scared to set your tip ups in like three to five foot of water. Those fish come up shallow, they don't have to be in deep water. Because obviously this one's only five foot deep to the bottom. We set it down three foot. First one of the year, guys. Been out here a whole 15 minutes. Cloudy day. Maybe they'll start hitting. We're not even out in the main lake, we're in a bay here. Put a big sucker minnow on it. We're going to turn him loose. Wait for a little bit bigger one to keep. Give him a second. It's really cold out today. I think it's like one degree. Here he goes. There he goes. Sweet. I just swam off. <laughs> How does it feel to Feels get the good. first one of the year? Feels good. Came up there and the top of the tip up was spinning super fast, so obviously we knew there was one on. So yeah, it's we had always to get the a good sight. We had to get the camera out. Uh, Time to do a little shot of Jack. <laughs> I hear that. Warm up the innards. Well, we've been sitting here for about an hour and a half. No flags. So we got that one pike earlier this morning. It's been almost an hour and a half, two hours and no luck so we're gonna move all the tip ups and um, we're gonna try to cut or we're gonna try to block all these pike off they're going into these bays right here so we're gonna try to make like a line across the whole canal right here so with all the tip ups so any pike that are coming into this canal should hit one of the tip ups so we're gonna go do that and hopefully get on a pike today. We actually just picked up all our tip ups. It was a pretty fun day getting out on the ice. The first time for 2022, we caught one pike. Um, I think we were out here maybe like four or five hours, something like that. So a decent amount, but it's getting dark here soon. So we figured we'd pick up all our tip ups and go have dinner and everything. But we're gonna get out here super early tomorrow and probably sit most of the day, try to catch a couple more guys but it was super fun getting out there um let me know what your biggest bike you've caught through the ice was whether you were jigging or on tip up but 
Drop a comment below, let me know. But we will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more.